distracted. Gus. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today. Um, you didn't see that. I didn't see what? The water spill. We put this sheet on the goose and duck thing because I'm terrified that a hawk will come and eat them. Why are you eating that instead of the grass they that's don't in like there? stuff that's in there. They oh, like well, stuff they can't have. We should move it every day then. Good morning. So today is Friday. I can't believe it's already a weekend. Like literally the days have been going so fast. It's Friday. It's been a rainy week. It's been raining all week. It's been annoying. Even though I do like the rain, I appreciate the rain because our grass is so green. But I'm ready to do stuff. I just got a rain alert on my phone saying that in the next couple of hours we're gonna have like torrential rain pour. Torrential. So if we want to do horse stuff, we have to do it now. And even Gabby's here to do horse stuff today. I'm even gonna braid a forelock today, but I'm not gonna leave the forelock in. You're gonna braid her up? Yep. Take her feet. Come on. Chino, Chino's like, where's my girl going? Oh, there's my other girl. Sorry, sorry about your luck. You're not going. So today we decided to take our horses for a walk. Sophie wants to. What? Not going. Do you want to take him? He could put his boots on. Yeah, he wants to take him. Take so leave Storm here and take him? Yeah, Storm's going in a stall if we leave him. Yeah, because Storm will throw a fit if we leave him. All right, you want to get out, big guy? Yeah. All right, put him in the cross ties and get him all ready. Like, look at this boy. Oh, your ears are itchy. Look, his ears are itchy, Gabby. Oh my goodness, they're so itchy. He's actually got dirt in his ears. Oh my goodness. You should cut his bridle path. Yeah, cut that bridle path. It's almost time for this boy to come back into work. Oh my goodness, he actually has dirt in this ear. Look. Ew, and it stinks. See, your mom doesn't love you as much as me. She doesn't take care of your ears, but look at how good he is with his ears. She taught him that, or she keeps him being good about his ears. All right, let's take you for a walk. Chino's day out. So uh, basically, uh, last night Sophie said, I want to take the horses for a walk. And I said, it's good for all of us to go for a walk. And it's good for, um, it's good just, just good to get us into shape and to just get us used to exercising. And the horses, it's good to get them exercising on the ground without a rider. We've been riding a lot. I've like probably ridden four times in the last week, week and a half. It's been awesome. Somebody asked us about this supplement and said, is this for metabolic horses or something like that and it can be it's i we got it because it's good it's got all the vitamins in it that you would use for like a foot supplement it's good for a foot supplement and it's good for gut for horses guts it's just basically a vitamin supplement but it also can help a horse regulate their insulin levels but that's not the primary reason for it or maybe it is they have other ones that are for metabolic health but this one specifically we got a equine nutritionist last year when we started having trouble with chino's feet suggested this one to us so this is the one we've been using Hi. come on come on gracie every night when we come out i never bring the camera at nighttime but storm and honey gallop to the gate but gabby oh storm's not galloping today but honey's way back there watch she's gonna gallop She's going through such a sassy time. Come here. Come here. Wait. As soon as she thinks we're leaving, she'll come running. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. You guys won't be able to see her for a sec. Gabby, don't walk in front of her. Go that way. Come on, honey. Oh my gosh. She's so slow. Gabby. She jumped Come here, honey. Come on. <laughs> and then Storm does the same thing. Look. She's getting, look at, I don't like the color of her fur. Why isn't it the same color as her face? She's so light underneath that hair. Okay, so we're gonna take three horses for a walk to get some exercise, some on the ground exercise, practice our ground manners, practice our ground manners, Penny. What? She has ground manners. Yeah, Willow is the best ground manners. Willow loves going on walks though. Yeah, she really does. I'm just gonna bring Chino with his boots on and try that. So basically it's just an outing for our horses. It's a chance to get out and have fun and just enjoy the scenery. Sophie said she just wants to go out there and enjoy her walk, 
we enjoy this. Like this is just a part of like having horses and doing things with them. Let's do the ear test on Penny. She thinks you guys are a, a candy. She doesn't mind me messing with her ears, but she doesn't like me putting my fingers inside them, whereas Chino love that. So let's do the other side. This is her like least favorite ear that she likes handled. Is it itchy? She's like, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's the tip of the ear she doesn't like. And then inside, it's not her favorite thing either. Good girl. All right, Sophie. Fun fact about this stuff, it heals rain rot. Yeah, but our horses never get rain rot. I know. So they don't even stand in the rain, for goodness sake. I know. All right, show us her ears. Those yeah, can you touch them? Yeah. She's like Penny. She's like, don't bother me. Look, they have cute ears. <laughs> she has them cute, really, really. She does have really cute ears. Get over here. Come, on. Come here, she says. Huh, you have to earn it, he says. <laughs> Gets annoyed. He's so cute. Update on my puppy. She used to be obsessed with me and she's still obsessed with me to a, a point. She used to be like so obsessed with me and wouldn't even move away from my feet. Now, whoever goes out the door, she's going out. She's a farm dog and that's what she wants to do. She wants to be on the farm. And when I call her to come sometimes, now she thinks that she can choose if she wants to come. <laughs> so yeah, now six months, she was a perfect puppy. Now I have to like work on her training again. I guess just refresh her. This is why I like minis, so I don't have to stand on the stool to cut their bridle time. <laughs> Gabby, are you trying to say you're too short to cut your horses? No, it's just easier to see. Short girl problems. This is literally one of my favorite times that we have together as a family. And this is why I love horses so much for us. Because... Remember when you hated horses and you were scared of them? Yeah. And you have your own horse. Yeah. So, I love that we all, like, take care of our loves. We all love them and we all take care of them and we are all invested in them and we all help. Okay, I have to put you guys down because I can't brush my horse's tail while I'm holding you. All right, are we ready to go? Are we ready to rock and roll, Penny? We're just I going for a walk. Stripes. So, oh, she had her hair up in a little tiny bun. It was super cute. I like crooked stripes too. I like anything that makes you different. I like anything that helps you stand out from the crowd. Chino's like, I do not know what is happening. <laughs> He's always in the paddock, but he always, but Gabby takes him for walks while she's not riding him. She takes him for a long walk twice a day. But this is gonna be on the road. We're all beautified. She's got a bun. She's got a clean body. <laughs> All right, we are headed out. We are headed out. Don't even try and think about the grass. We just came in off the grass. No. <laughs> My ears are plugged, but even I can hear. Somebody's freaking out in the background. My guess is that it's storm. Gabby says that the boots are working. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love I love watching horses do stuff that they love. Chino seems like he's really liking getting out. You coming? And Penny's been super relaxed this ride. This walk. <laughs> Penny is like, I stopped at this bridge where there's literally no grass because all Penny sees is grass on either side of the road. That's all she sees. That's all she wants. But you know, uh, but we always stop at the bridge. <laughs> Penny! <laughs> stop! I'm trying not to film too much for this ride, because, this walk. Because honestly, Penny's so good until I pay attention to you guys and have my camera on. And then she tries to eat grass. She may or may not have a mouthful right now. <laughs> Anyways. Do you guys remember, we have all these old videos where when the girls first got horses, I wanted them to experience like trail rides and so many different things, all the aspects of horses. And so I would used to walk on trails and then I rode my bike on trails and then I like 
wanted to get a horse so I could ride with them on trails and then we accomplished all of that but then here we are walking on trails again but it made me think about how one big huge thing I learned is that horses are not just for riding they're a lot for back up they're a lot for sometimes it has to be about doing what the horse wants to do the way the horse wants to do it and these walks on the road are such an enjoyable thing for our horses they all mostly drop their heads and just enjoy the walk penny on the other hand thinks it's a smorgasbord of grass <laughs> she keeps pointing to it with her nose saying like i'm going over there and i'm like no you're not but taking care of horses is so much more than feeding them and getting the vet when they need it and making sure that they have someplace dry to stay. So much of horses is doing things that they like sometimes too. It can't just be all about us. It's a partnership and it's a relationship. And these walks are literally some of the highlights of my life. I honestly don't think Gracie cared that she didn't come. And the reason is, she has like a baby, a bratty baby to take care of, and uh, she's exhausted. <laughs> but maybe she did want to come and get away from the baby. 14 steps from that gate to the arena. 114 steps from the gate to the I arena. I don't know why, I just randomly started. You guys, it literally is so humid outside. Like I'm sweating not from exercise, I'm sweating literally from the humidity. It's so bad. But I'm so glad we got to come down early and ride. Not ride, but go for a walk and enjoy our horses. I feel so much better after having that exercise too. All right, so we are at the bulk barn because I found a recipe. And it's his father's day. I got you a bunch of stuff and it's time to get him a bunch of chocolate. That's all he I found a recipe for a horse treats with no sugar. So we're gonna try and make those. This is one of my favorite stores. When we were gluten-free for three years, wow. We used to shop here. This is where we did our groceries. Wow. I love nuts. Nuts are my favorite. No, but look at animal crackers in the shape of a horse. Those are cool. I love animal crackers. These yogurt cover raisins. Oh, I love yogurt. The only other hard thing about this place is that they have like all the best chocolate. Sour candy. Those are the best. Now these are good containers for horse treats. They are cool. So, I got uh, yogurt covered raisins, oh, Sophie yeah, made me. I got flaxseed, ground flaxseed, and brewer's yeast. And I'll explain what I need these for when I get home. All right, so we stopped by the P.O. box and Sophie got a package, or we got a package. Sophie is so excited. She gets excited about things. She may or may not have read the the package to see what's inside. And since we were at the PO office box, we got this letter uh, from Maddie and she sent it at Easter and we haven't been there for a long time. But she drew this picture of us and our horses and we love it. It's Sophie riding Finn, Gabby riding Chino, Laura riding Penny, and Sam riding Storm. How do you feel about that, Sam? I feel like Storm is my horse. I said that to Sophie today. I said, you know what? You guys all have a horse, Storm is mine. Yeah, and he likes you. Yeah. Anyway, she wrote us this, and then she wrote us this, and she lives in Florida, and she went and, co and competed at Ocala this Easter, isn't, or this year. Isn't that so nice? Thank you, Maddie. It has diamonds. That is cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is gorgeous. So leather halter for the minis, <laughs> and a pink rope halter. That's adorable. This is so cute. Sophie loves pink too. That is adorable. So I also got this necklace that says Penny and I wear one every day that says Stella. I'll show you. So I wear this one every single day. It's the same and it says Stella on it. And so now I have one that says Penny. And now I, I love it. Thank you so much. 
I wonder if I should wear both at the same time. Let me see it. Something on Sophie's list has been a leather halter and this one is so cute. She says it's got bling and even on the sides. And she loves the color of it. She loves dark what, like dark colors. Cause the only mini halter, leather halters I can find are like really light. Yeah, she's never found one that she liked. And she loves it. Oh, it is so soft actually, it's adorable. So thank you so much for sending these things to us. It's so kind of you. Good day for me today. Yeah. <laughs> we just left the house like nothing was going on and then suddenly we're Sophie's going down to the barn. So Sophie's dreams have been made. Yeah, we're going down to the well, barn. Because I actually like this one. I know, it's so nice. Like she has not been able to find a leather halter that she's wanted. Like she's been looking and looking and looking. She loves it. Thank you. All right, so we just got home and we had to rush down to the barn. That is her color, Sophie. It is adorable. Bring her over here so we can see it. Yeah, when you tie it up. It's adorable on her. Hi, baby. Oh, are you hot? I came to brush you. I love it, Sophie. She looks gorgeous. You look gorgeous, Willow. Say thank you. We love rope halters in our house. We love them. I want one for every horse. It's perfect. It's a bit big so she can grow into it. And we can poke holes in it with a hole punch. Yeah, we have a hole punch so we can make it smaller, but it'll fit her for a long time. It is gorgeous. Is it blue yeah. and diamonds? Blue and diamonds. It's so blingy. See, it needs to be Yeah, we'll go like get the pole, hole puncher and you can fix it now. It is stunning. Oh, Willow, you look so cute. <laughs> I know, Willow looks so good Here, in pink. hold this one too. It was, it was like Christmas today for Where's Sophie. Is that the spot that you have to cut it? Did you measure? Well, I'm poking multiple holes so it doesn't look bad. Honey, honey could walk away, but she's not. She's like, I love that thing. <laughs> she's like, I'll bug you. Don't you know that you're beautiful?